Good morning traders, Nessie with Daily Profits. And today's Friday. Um, nothing else was moving in the market until right now. So this is my first trade and I bought into CARV. Uh, it started moving up, a big, big candle moving up. I got in around 28.93 and I'm anticipating for a break towards the 30s level. So let's see if it can, if that can take place. Nine sixty was the high on that one. So let's see if we can go ahead and retest again. Right, nice all over the place. This was the biggest volume that came in, and I I I immediately pressed the buy button when I saw that. Looking for a break through 60. 30.65 was the high pre market. So let's see if that can take place. If it breaks to 50 back again, then we might be able to get 60. So let's see. Here he comes 50 again. 52. 56. 60. Okay, here we go. 75 so some people are going to start buy, buyers are going to start coming into this one right here uh, let's see if we get a good continuation if not I'm going to hold it for a little bit I think we definitely break through the 30 level, but we will see what it wants to do. You want many candles opening up? back above 80 Test back at 80, 89, 90. Here comes 30. I'm, I think I'm going to say I have my shares at 30. Let's see if we can break it. A lot of sellers at 30. Canceling for now. Let's see. A comes 30. Took half. 
30.65 is the high. Let's see if it can break it. Thirty twenty-two. I saw twenty-two printed really quick there. Okay, here goes twenty-two. Here comes thirty. Throw some at seventeen. I'm gonna hold the remainder for the break. For the break of sixty-five, which is the pre-market high. Here it comes. Break of fifty. Big push up to seventy. 85, taking some here. 200 shares left. Beautiful move. And as you can see, there's continuation. Filling some here. And this bus, each share is left. <clears throat> bad start all-time high for it yesterday was 3887 so let's see where this one goes This morning, woke up at $9,892 in the account. And right now, just made around $1,300. So, goodbye. Sorry as it was, what, at $2,895. So, sorry as it was just about to break it broke pull back nice three bar play and as you can see there's continuation so if chrv is moving there is definitely some other stocks moving cohn yesterday i got into it i got I bought some shares into COHN, so it is moving also. And finally, UN, I mean, U1 will also be moving this morning. So I'm going to definitely be on the lookout for that one also.
see this continue big continuation. And I sold all my shares at 31 and 33. Can it break 33? right now it's a bit too high to be buying you want for a pullback to take place and then get and then go for continuation the high and I think it can definitely break 38 today. Right, one minute until the market opens up. Definitely eyeing <clears throat> CARV. Um, I'm also watching the MRIN. And gonna have U1 in the back end also. Baby, don't take no prisoners. 38.87 is the high. Touch 35, but then break. Ooh, 35, 36. by 80 I only made I only got filled about 300 shares on that move right there but I still made some good profit here I'll be Thirty-eight, eighty-seven is the high. CRV is ripping.
Another year. Bought at 20, sold at 32. And, it's, and it keeps ripping. So it's going for the highs. Let's see if it pulls back. It's going to pull back. Huge pullback. That was huge. Oh my goodness. Four dollars. Eesh. Pull back here. This is ruthless. People gotta be very careful right now. 38.87 is the high. Touch 30. Touch. Was they high? 39, 37.98. And look, oh three dollars drop. That is brutal. So we're gonna scale back. About five, five by five hundred shares. MRIN is making a beautiful move. Are a little bit wide at this moment. LT is moving up, but let's see what we do. I for carve is thirty eight forty five. It drops. Uh, it looks like it was trying to move back up. And break above. <sighs> break above around 38. I'll be a buyer. Uh, I'm going to be sitting on the sideline watching this baby here. Because I think he can definitely move. Beautiful continuation on this one. This book above 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, pull back second, and popped up, and then it held at bottom at 32, and then just push up $6.
Fair RV can break back above 3650 level. I'll definitely be a buy. Just about 500 shares, though I'll get into it. Nothing more. As you can see, it can flush. The only reason I think it might try to retest the highs because of this pullback with low volume. And it's trying to find support around this area here. Okay, here it goes. As you can see, I like it over 37. If it can break 37, then you can definitely get a test of the highs. Fine. Let's see if we can get that break. Thirty-seven. Holding here. Here we go. Sold all my shares at thirty-eight twenty-five. And as you can see, there is continuation. It's about to get halted. I am buying a hundred shares. Do I get filled? I bought a hundred shares into the halt. And as you can see, it's halted right now. <clears throat> and I got in with about 100 shares on this one. So resumption time will be at 9, 45, 41. And I got in a little bit, you know, I got in around the price range that I wanted to. I said, I did say 36.50. But I got in at around $36.99 with about 500 shares. And I sold as it pushed above an entire dollar. I made 500 extra on that one. And then I have about, a, I got into, I got in 100 shares into the halt. So, Previous day high was 38.87 for it. So there's a definite possibility that it's going to break it. It's right here. So next level is 39 and there is no resistance after 38.87. So you might get a really nice squeeze there hopefully. We will see what happens when the when it opens back up. So resumption time is at 9 45 41. <laughs>
now. <clears throat> All right. Resumption time is in a few minutes. I see 39.55 printed. So we'll see where it, where it actually opens up at. We'll only end with 100 shares. Got in right before the halt. Resumption time is now. All right, sold at 40.57. Made about 100 something dollars on that. Oh, and it continues. So right now, people have to be very, very careful here. It can definitely continue. At the same time, it can give you this candle right here. So gotta be careful. And now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be watching it. Okay, as you can see, it's gonna get halted going down. Six dollar bar. Six dollars on just this bar alone. All eyes are on CARV this morning. Nothing else is really getting it's really being traded. AGRI was one of the was one of the leading gappers, but as you can see, popping.
all's in for now. Yeah, I hear him.
Okay. Yes, I would like to. No, I was not. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we switch it off. Oh, it's just right on my chest. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, she could have. Yeah. <sighs> it's a, it's a, such a sad situation. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah she, yeah, she probably definitely does. I don't think so, no.
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah. Yeah, exactly. Who was up in the mountains? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah.
that is such a bad thing. Yeah, I'm at work. Great entry. Had to give it some time. Uh, as you can see, it's one to sixteen right now. Sixteen, fourteen was the high for this one. I didn't get a good. I did. Truthfully, I did not get a good feel on this one. I was looking for the break of 15 to buy. I got filled a little bit too high, 15, 25. As you can see, there's continuation on this baby here, and it's about to get moved. just popping up on my on my scanner and just so you know this baby can run Resumption at seventeen forty one. Held all my shares on this one.
exhaustion time, I see 18. Rene. Supposed to be resuming at 10.53.03. I see, and I'm seeing that alt at 10.59, and it shows an open at 18 moment. See where it wants to open up. This thing has so much room to move upside. Might be interested in a dip. Get a dip. Let's see if it hits. Okay, no open yet. And usually when it's a 10 minute hose, it opens even higher. Seven or three junction RSLS I is at six thirty nine, that's six right now, six twenty one. As you can see, beautiful W pattern. SQBG has room all the way up to 28. Resumption time. I'm still watching cars. Breakable 40 is a buy for me on CARV. Resumption in about 30 seconds for this one.
1850 consumption time. I mean, price. Let's see. Wow. Okay, it's pulling down. Prices are are really tight, so that is really nice. Oh, let's see if it can break back above 18. That would be a buy for me. Ah, spreads, spreads. Hate the spread on this one right now. Okay, we gotta wait on a new one minute. I gotta wait on another can. I gotta wait on a new one minute candle. Dropping and back to his regular, so that's fine. You need one minute candle. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on this, but it might pull back and rest a little bit. Continuation. I definitely like it for the break of 18. Break of no, the move towards the 18 is confirmation that this one is strong and <clears throat> have some buyers coming behind it, so that's why I want to buy around that level. See, so pop up to 79, find at 18. Let's see if we can move. the field I want it. Let's see if we can break higher. Hmm. Holding for holding here. Okay, I'm about to sell. <sighs> Not a good move. Okay. Okay, I'm all out. Yeah. <laughs> Lost 500 on that one. It did push above 18, but it didn't hold. Looking for another opportunity over 18. That one did not work out, but I'm looking for another opportunity over 18. <clears throat> if we can break 18, then we can get a continuation move. This got to let it rest for a little bit. I bought at 17.98. It popped over 18 briefly, and then and then dumped. I had to get out. Lost a dollar a share on that trade right there.
as you can see this stock just went and did a parabolic move I just bought some at 18 1782 and sold at 18 and I basically missed this entire move from 10 to 18 as I was away from my computer crazy move And every time it touch, try to break over 18, I think I'm gonna be a buyer. But it's late in the day. It's late in the day right now. So you have to be careful. Such a crazy move. I missed the buckle of the move from here. A break through 11 and then give you 13. That would be a nice trade. And that'll break to a new high. So basically, <clears throat> since it continued to go higher, Thirty-three is the all-time high for it, and then that's and it's at seventeen, and it hit eighteen today. There is definitely <laughs> there can be continuation into into um, into Monday for this stock right here. You know. But if we come back and try to test this area here, I'm gonna be a buyer before the break of 18. Looking for a continuation move. What a crazy move for this one.
Hello traders, Nessie with Daily Profits and today is Friday the July 9th 2021 baby and as you can see um, the overall net I mean profit realized profit it was twenty five hundred dollars two thousand five hundred and one dollars but after commissions and fees I netted around two thousand three hundred and twenty six dollars um great start in the morning um didn't take didn't take a trade um so I was just watching the market and do you know browsing the internet for about since um, since I woke up, you know, usually I wake up around 6:50, 6 6:30, and then just watch the market, and then just browse, and then <clears throat> I did not see anything early in the morning that really piqued my interest, but I did have CARV on my watch list because I know for such a move that it did yesterday, and a lot of people missed out. As soon as it start getting volume accumulation behind it, it was gonna push. And so as soon as I saw it, that a uh, huge that huge candle pop at 9:15, I immediately flipped and bought for the break of 29. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I bought for the break of 29. And as you can see, I held it, uh, popped up to 30 for the whole dollar, um, around 920. So I sell, I sold half of my shares, around 500 of them at 30, and then <clears throat> I will sell the remainder at 30.17, and I sold some more at 30.79. Sold some at 31 and got out of it completely. And then I bought again when the market opened up at 9:30 exactly on this candle. Um, I bought at 19:8. Wait, oh, talking about the wrong one. So that was the only trade that I took on CARV was was that was that one and as you can see it just continued higher and higher and higher and then what it did when it opened up gapped up pushed up came back down and that's when it started moving back up around 31 I think about I bought on this candle also um, but it was a very brief so I bought at 38.20 on this candle for continuation and I sold around 38.32 so it made an extra hundred dollars but the real move on this one where I got in I bought 500 shares when it pulled back down here and then as it started breaking I bought it a little bit high around $36.99 but and I held all the way through $38 and I sold around $38.25 I sold all my sales at $38.25 and then it got halted and as it was getting halted, I bought 100 shares at around 38 um, 70s area, around, and then I held it through the halt. Um, it opened up high at 40, sold all my sold 100 shares, made about 150 dollars on that one. Um, and then, as you can see, big push to the downside, and. After that, it never really recovered, you know. And then it just it just continued downwards and downwards. And as you can see, it closed 
below where it opened up at so this is a one for good potential move for Monday as it is still holding this area here which shows support around these areas and if it can break back up it can definitely break above 28 29 on Monday you can definitely get another continuation not as steep up actually I don't know exactly but this was one this one was a good trade and then I got into MRIN <clears throat> I saw it popping up um, around 9.30 so I bought, I bought high I bought around the 80s level as this candle is about to close and I bought it around like 1980 and then so on the next candle when it opened up and break 20 I saw the immediately for about uh, it was a oh I didn't get I didn't get uh, I didn't get completely I didn't get all my fill I was trying to buy a thousand shares but I didn't get fill a thousand shares only got filled around 376 but I did make $75 on it on that on just that move alone uh, and then after that I got it to see a RV and then GALT popped up I was buying for this break right here um, I was expecting because what it did it did push down push back up big resistance and then push down so when it break back above the VWAP and find support above the VWAP that shows it shows that strength and what I did was when I saw that I bought on this candle right here for 418 and I was looking for the break of the highs which was which put on this candle right here it was around the 425 area and then it consolidated a little bit I was in with how many shares did I buy I was in with about a thousand shares and then as it popped up on this candle on this candle here I sold most of my shares at 33 and I sold some at 29 so made about $130 on that. and then SGOC popped up and it was around what year this was it was 38 I was buying it for the break uh, of this level here um, I bought at 79 and then false breakout push down I sold all the way down this candle here at 60 so definitely lost on that one and then it was about uh, about hundred seven dollars. That was my first loss, and then SQBG popped up. I got it, and as I saw it, it was breaking high. It was breaking, breaking, and I wanted to buy it for the break of fifteen, but I got filled a little bit high. As you can see, there was really nice continuation, and I sold around the fifteen sixty and. You even got hold it, and then it popped. It resumed almost two dollars higher, and then it came back. And what I did is I tried to buy this candle here for a retest of the highs, and I bought here for the break of eighteen. Broke eighteen just a little bit. 
and pull back and I got stopped out <clears throat> almost a whole dollar so it was up about 500 five, 400 500 on it and then I got stopped out a dollar so that's why I'm down $554 on it I was like, dang it okay and then I think that was it for this one and then I was just you know watching um, the charts and then SGOC started to pop back up again and around the 11 11 59 ish it was around this area so I bought this where was it Nine. I saw this pop right here I bought on this candle I think Scroll in right. Okay, I bought on this candle here <clears throat> at 11.59, and I bought it at 4.36, and then it squeezed to 49, and I sold all my all my shares at 49, and then it broke 50. I tried. I bought at 50. For the break of 50, sold at 54. I was just in and out. And then again around 1211. I bought at 499 for the break of five. And I, I sold I prematurely sold. And as you can see, <laughs> it just went without me. And then got halted. That was such a beautiful move. Got halted and then pushed, pushed up. And as it was breaking, as it was trying to break seven, I bought for the break of seven at 6.92. And I sold at the top of this candle here, which was at 6.12. I uh, made some money. And then I bought around this resumption I think with, with 1228 I bought at 10 yeah okay okay I bought at 10 for the break of 11 so it pushed up to 81 and I sold at 92 11 and as you can see it broke 11 and went and then it skipped up to all the way to 1233. That was, I was like, wow. So, the next trade I took was, I think it was at around 101. This area here. I bought it for the break of 995 to 10. And then. I stopped out immediately after 988 because of the pullback. And that was it. And then I just I stepped away from my computer and as it was pulling back, I started doing pullback. It was pulling back, pushing back. And <clears throat> when I came back, I came back as this stock has already made all this move here. I came back and I saw it popping up around. Beautiful move, as I was saying. Consolidated and then held the moving average. Broke this area of consolidation, it was around 10.30. Then came and broke above 11. And then just went 11 12. Then held this area here, popped up big red candle, and then slowly it staircased itself back towards the highs. Oh. And then once it broke 13, and it just kept in green candles all the way up to 15. 
So that was a beautiful move right there that I, I didn't trade it. Um, when I came in, I traded on this candle. Yeah, I traded on this candle here, pin 28. I bought at 1782 for the break of 18. So it broke 18, just a little bit. And then I immediately sold. And as you can see, big red candle, indecision candle, it pulled all the way down. And now it's pulled down all the way. So this one right here has potential to run on Monday also. So I'm just gonna keep it on my pre-market watch list for Monday when we come back. But uh, so far this is good this week was a good week. Um <clears throat> so come Monday the account currently up $9,800 on Monday it's going to be up around 12 12200 make sure to do it. Yeah, it's gonna be around twelve thousand two hundred dollars, basically. So, the plan is to just keep building it, you know, day by day. You know, every single day in the market is very different. You know, just gotta be able to take advantage of the opportunities that you know are presented. And in regards to this right, this SGOC here, and. C A R V. I left a lot of money on the market today. I left a lot of money in the market. I'm happy that I'm green. I'm definitely happy. I'm very grateful that I'm green on the day. But I left a lot of money on the table, especially with C A R V. Me being a buyer around that this area here, the 28, and it went all the way up to 41. I had told myself that I wanted to hold because I thought it was going to go ahead and break and back up, break the previous high that it made here, plus 38. And that is exactly what it went for. It went up and broke it. This right here was a beautiful flag consolidation and then pop and then just continued um, all the way up to when the market opened. It broke it and as you can see it flushed back down. But this was so beautiful. This, I could hold it, but I did not. So definitely looking for another opportunity. I'm um, come Monday when those two open because I'll definitely be watching them and to see what we can get out of them. Other than that, guys, you guys have a good weekend and see you on Monday early in the morning.